He's so cute. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Friday Five. As you can tell from the title, although I'm not 100% sure what I'm labeling this video, but I'm thinking it's gonna be something like party prep essentials or things you don't think about when you're prepping for a party or I don't know, some something along party prepping things. So that's what this video is about. It's all about what to do when you're prepping for a party. In the past couple of weekends, we've had a couple different parties at our place and by parties it's like dinner parties or having people over. This past weekend was David's birthday and I made a couple of vlogs for his um, birthday weekend so you can view those after this video on my channel. But without further ado, um, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is ice cubes and I'm not just talking about having enough ice, I'm talking about we have special ice cubes. Um, so we have like for drinks, um, we have spheres and we have larger ice cubes and we have um, little like rounder ice cubes. We have all sorts of different fancy ice cubes. I don't know why we have all these ice cubes, but they're fun. They're fun to put in a drink, whether it's alcoholic or non-alcoholic. But what I found is that the best method with these ice cubes is to put them in a plastic bag. So make them beforehand, freeze them, get that all, get that all done with, and then put them in a plastic bag and then stick them back in your freezer so that you're prepped and ready to go because I found that it's such a chaotic mess when people are trying to make their drinks and then they're asking for ice cubes and you want to give them the fancy ice cubes because you have them but then you have to like pop them out of their little case and so it's so much easier if you just have either like a bucket of ice and you put all the fancy ice cubes in there or you can just um, reach into the plastic bag and put a fancy ice cube into their drink or they can even get it anyway what I'm saying is pre-prep your ice cubes and put it in a plastic bag and it makes life so much easier and then you can make a ton more. So that's number one. And then number two is clear dishwasher. So when you're prepping for a dinner party or you're having a ton of people over, there's going to be dishes that you are going to have done beforehand. And the best thing I have found is that you get all those dishes done and and then you put them in the dishwasher and then you run your dishwasher before people get there and clear it so that way when you're cleaning up at the end, you have a clear dishwasher and instead of having to put all the clean dishes away, you can just put all the dirty dishes into the into the cleared out dishwasher and then you're good to go. So less prep after, more prep before, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Number three is table topics. So, um, I think this just applies to games in general. I have found it to come in handy to have a game called ta Table Topics and usually it happens when the party is winding down or people are just hanging out and um, you want to play a game, you want something to do and sometimes there are multiple people so it's hard to sit down and like play an organized game. Whereas Table Topics, you pull out a card and I've talked about it in my channel before but you pull out a card and it'll ask you a question and everyone can go around the room and give their two cents on what the topic is. So there's all sorts of different types of topics in the table topic games. And so um, I'm sure they have a website, which I'll link below. But I also think they would really, uh, be a really good hostess gift. So if you're going to somebody's house who's hosting a party, it would be something fun to bring and then you could play it later, whatever. But table topics is number three. Number four is a website called Paperless Post. Again, I've talked about this in my um, videos before, but essentially it is a online invitation. So if you're having people over for a dinner party or a Super Bowl party or a Valentine's Day party or, or a book club or any sort of those things, any one of those things, um, sometimes it's more fun to have it be a little bit more formal um, in terms of invitation. Just I don't know, to make it special. So I found this website called Paperless Post. Actually, my friend Alexa pointed me to this website and they have a bunch of beautiful um, graphic images that you can customize and then you don't have to send them via mail, you could send them via text and it just makes it like that much more special. So I highly recommend checking out Paperless Post. They have some really great options um, for little invitations and they're just fun. Finally, for my fifth party prep essential option would be to leave snacks out. So buy a couple of things, whether it's nuts or crackers or um, 
oh, I don't know, sweets or something like that and just put them in little dishes around the house because I find that people are kind of peckish when they first get to your house and they kind of want to like snack on stuff but if, if you're having a dinner party then you're not necessarily going to have things out. So having like little food like popcorn or nuts or any of those types of foods out it means that they can just kind of like snack and talk and it's easy to have with your drinks. So we really like wasabi peas. We like the nut, mixed nut, mixed nut bag thing, I don't know, mixed nuts from Costco and um, Costco have a bunch of different snack options so you can also get like the chocolate covered, I think, what is it, blueberries or pomegranates or whatever those things are, you can just put it in a little dish out and people can snack on it and then we also really like um, honey roasted peanuts. So those are my five party essentials. I hope that this um, gives you a few ideas for your next party and let me know if you have any party essentials that I'm missing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.